been recording. All right, hi. Uh, that that was one, and I'm going to show you how to make a test dummy like this for Lego Robotics. You see, it has like little weird claws here, and then two little weird things. It has some eyes, and has a stander here. So it's pretty neat. Um, I'm not gonna take it apart because I don't exactly remember how to uh, well put it together. But I'm gonna give you an idea of how to build it. So, right here is the head. If you can't really see it, there's this right here connected to this, which you connect to one of these little doohickeys right here. With and um, you have to connect it with two of the long blue parts. If you have the updated Lego Robotics kit, if you have the non-updated one, just find similar parts. So, basically, and then, with the leftover spikes on, or the little leftover uh, versions of these down here, you connect it to one of these, and um, connect that to if I'm going too fast for you, you can just pause my video. So then, um, it's connected to this arm here, which don't have the claw. If you don't have a claw, you can just leave it as it is. I got the claw from a uh, Bionicle kit, which has similar parts, so I was able to connect the two. And, um, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. My, uh, computer update, everything is vibrating, my foot's on it, feels weird. Okay, sorry, back onto the track. So, um, now it gets complicated. Then, that is connected to here. Okay, sorry, okay, sorry. Okay, just leave that part to the side, alright? And you're going, this is a tricky part, I came up with this. It's not really meant to be, but take the biggest black gear you have, and fit it inside one of the wheels here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it works. And um, then you attach three little things to it there. You see? And then those come up to this one, which also has a gear inside of it. You can't really see the gears in there. And um, so, um, well, now, what you're going to want to do is connect it to your previous part, right, well, the computer just fell asleep, okay. right here, you see, with uh, one of the upsticking, one of the, the black ones here, one of these, you want to connect it to here, like so, right here, you see that? And, um, there's one behind it, if you can't really see it, so right there. And, um, then you add another claw here. Here. You can't really see it, give me a second. Right here. This claw. And, um, then you add this second one, which is another one. This is just for stylishness. And, uh, then you add these two little pincers, and you pretty much have it down. So, here's what you've built if you've done it correctly. And that is sidetrack, since I have plenty of time, I'll go get my really cool robot. Right back. Look at this. 
Can you believe this? This is Bionicle. This is Bionicle. And then the tank treads only come with the updated version. I like to use them. Oh, sorry. Then I have a remote control here. So you can pilot it back and forth and forward. You can't do it backwards. But, um, then also, if you rewire, programmed it so that if you rewire these two wires in the opposite position, then this one here, give me a second, this one here makes the claw come down, and this one makes it come back up. And, uh, yeah, that's really cool for me. And then you rewire it back and drive away after damaging the, uh, that's got me like heck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So then I have this extra little area here. This, okay, ah, my computer fell asleep again. Give me a second. And, uh, you have this little cable here, which connects up to this on the test dummy headpiece. I switch it off back and forth. It's pretty easy to disconnect if you did it correctly. Or you can just build your own test dummy using, uh, I recommend using my idea for the base, if anything, if you're already occupied with wheels. To me, I am occupied with these wheels here, although I didn't use the tires, which is why it's good for that. Here, give me a second, I'll show you the rest of my kit. I still have time. You can exit if you want right now because it's about to get boring, but use the information I used previously. Yep, so as you can see, these come with it, but what I like to do is add on this one, which is from the Bionicle kit. And so is this. Yeah, this is one of my attachments. I designed the robot so that I could attach and detach different attachments, like this claw here. Look, this is what it looks like without the claw. Not very cool, huh? So then you can add this here. Wait. What? Wait, it's not working. Give me a second. Oh, it's really not working. Uh, give me a second. People do not do what I did, because I have just this one big container to keep them organized, because it's very hard to find parts. These here, second, thing fell apart years ago, <laughs> well not years ago, but a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And we add these there. There. And uh, um, hum, hum, hum. how do we attach these to here? Uh, let's push this wheel right Oh, here we go. Perfect. Need a couple of bars. There's one. One part. I'm so sorry, board. I just gotta grab some things. Sorry about that, YouTubers. Ah. 
Ah, what can YouTubers talk? My computer went frozen again. My computer does that a lot. Ah, ah yeah, I'm stupid. Ah, this is so annoying. Just like siblings, even though I don't have them. There we go. Now I can show you. You see, I can add different little posts. Whoa. And it broke again. Sorry about that. Uh, so, this is what it looks like individually. I had to build this little piece here. And yeah. So, as I said, if you're getting bored, you can turn it off. But, I recommend that. Turn it off because I'm going to turn it off now. See ya.